Bruce Willis loved ones are still planning to go all out for the holidays despite the actor's battle with dementia. Christmas will be very special for the family this year. And bittersweet, too, an insider said of the blended brew, which includes his wife, Emma Hemming, and their two daughters, as well as his ex-wife, Demi Moore, and their three adults' daughters. It's heartbreaking as his memory gets worse, but his love never falters. His eyes still light up around his loved ones, who cherish every single day with Bruce, the source shared with a magazine. But this Christmas just feels different, because, you never know, it could be his last. It's also the first Christmas for Bruce, 68, as a grandfather, as his and Moore's eldest child, Rumor, 35, welcomed a daughter this year. The idea is to follow their Christmas tradition, with the whole family flying out to Idaho, the insider spilled. Regardless of where everyone gathers, the loved ones are eager to look at old photos which Bruce loves to do, play games, and of course wear matching pajamas. As OK reported, the movie star's family revealed in March 2022 that he would be retiring from acting due to aphasia, but this past February, doctors diagnosed him with frontotemporal dementia. In a recent interview, daughter Tallulah, 29, offered an update on her father's new life. These days, my dad can be reliably found on the first floor of the house, somewhere in the big open plan of the kitchen, dining, living room, or in his office, she told Vogue over the summer. Thankfully, dementia has not affected his mobility. That office has always been a kind of window into what he's most interested in at any given moment. He still knows who I am and lights up when I enter the room, she continued. He may always know who I am, give or take the occasional bad day. One difference between FTD, frontotemporal dementia, and Alzheimer's dementia is that, at least early in the disease, the former is characterized by language and motor deficits, while the latter features more memory loss. In October, his former colleague Glenn Gordon Karen revealed the data 5 is not totally verbal. He's an extraordinary person. The thing that makes his disease so mind-blowing is that if you've ever spent time with Bruce Willis, there is no one who had any more joie de vivre than he. He loved life and just adored waking up every morning and trying to live life to its fullest, the moonlighting creator recalled. So the idea that he now sees life through a screen door, if you will, makes very little sense. He's really an amazing guy. In Touch reported on the family's Christmas plans.